in Seattle. And I actually ran and made it. They're currently boarding, so even though it's a couple minutes late, we're on time, ready to get to Boise. Flight number two. With our baggage service guarantee, your luggage will be in baggage claim within 20 minutes of our arrival at the gate. Just like that, we're in Boise by 11.30 a.m. We left at like 6, and we're already here. Let's get ready to hit the road. about 3 45 a.m. it is now 9 a.m. after the hour time change and we are about 15 minutes out from throwing waders on and getting fishing Chip. Bradley. Hola. My God. First fish of the trip. Annika gets a stud. This is so huge. It's so big. <laughs> We're getting measurement and girth right now. That's the biggest. Okay, grab the, grab that. Got. She's got it. She's probably like at least yeah. She's over thirty. What is it? It's like 30, 30 it's like over 30, 30 and a half. 30 and a half? Yeah, I want to say it's 30 and a half. 30 and a half inches. Okay. okay. Did you set the hook or was he just, did he set it himself? No, so I was looking for my bobber. And you didn't see it? And I didn't see it. I was like, oh my god. You dropped the other rod. She was holding onto my rod for me. I don't know what it is. It's looking like 19, 19 inches. Annika's biggest fish. Grab it in there. First fish of the trip. Wait for her to kick off. Kick off. Yeah, keep holding that. Nice job, babe. It looks great. Oh, oh. Hold them up. Oh, yeah! Woo Day one, babe. Day one. Dude, we haven't even fished for what, an hour? Oh, my God. An hour long. That was a She just goes, I got one! <laughs> Holy shit, I got a fish! I'm going to wait until someone can tell me how big of a fish that is. <laughs> Biggest I've, fish you've ever seen? Never, I mean, I just haven't ever seen fish that big, no? The biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> That's insane. The stoke level's unreal. It's been an hour long since we got here. And uh, my girl just got that fish, so like, we're so excited. The video's just getting started. Let's roll! Second fish of the trip. All right, guys, we have caught two fish so far, and it has been—it's been a tough day. It's been very slow, but uh, after that fish, sun is setting behind us. We're hoping that the bite's gonna turn on for the last light. It almost always does. So, hang with us and let's catch some more fish. Fish number three. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Get ready. Come on. Get them up to the service and swing them in. Nice. Oh, that took forever. You need the top one, whatever the top one is. This is one of the rooms. Oh, I got it already. Room two. Day two, morning two. It is uh, like 4.30, it's early. 
definitely just crashed out after fishing yesterday, but um, and didn't pull out the camera enough. But today is a new day. We're gonna pull out the camera a lot, and I think we're gonna catch a lot of fish today. So stay tuned, and let's go get after it. Welcome to the <laughs> <laughs> And the boys are getting the rods ready. Like 520. So we're just hanging out in the car. A summit is. The summit has an adipose fin. So this is a wild trout. This is a tr fish that was not planted. And you can kind of tell by the way. Oh wow. Look at those rosy cheeks. I mean that fish is stunning. Summit strain. I'm gonna let him go. I think I'm gonna let him go. This is awesome. What's up guys? We're getting ready for evening number two. Today we took quite the break throughout the middle of the day. It was extremely windy, like white capping everywhere, to the point where it just was nearly impossible to fish effectively. I mean, you're getting a drift that's lasting for, you know, not even two minutes. You're trying to leave that bobber out in the water as long as you can, without tangling, without snagging, without all sorts of problems. So, we headed in, conserved our energy, now we're going to use all of our energy on the evening bite. These last hours of light are the most productive times to catch these fish. That's when these fish feel the most comfortable, they're going to move in shallow. So. Without further ado, we're waitering back up from our little loaf around, and uh, we got about two hours till dark, so this is prime time. This is prime time. Oh, you're gearing back up? Oh yeah. I just think I'm gonna get the biggest fish of today. She didn't really have to set it, but this one she. Yeah, this one she set all on her own. Nice job, Ev. Woo! Summit. Yeah. That. It's gorgeous. Wow. What a way to end day two. 
a beautiful sunset. Annika and I have been hammering some fish. First time that we've kind of seen a smaller size on these fish, but they're all like still 23 inch summits. I mean, anywhere else this fish is an incredible sized fish. Whew, so stoked. It seriously blows my mind how awake and alive this lake is from 4 to 6 a.m. I mean, you drive in and there's lights on everywhere. Every trailer light's on, every tent. He's got people scurrying inside. Everyone's throwing layers on, getting ready to fish. It's, this place is not like some like amazing, you have to be some amazing fly fisherman to fish this place, to catch a fish bit of it. Your, your PB, shit I caught mine the other day. I was doing nothing, so watching a bobber. It's the fact that you have to just put in the put in the time and the effort to get here. And I mean, everybody you ever talked to on this, like I've never ran into a single person that wasn't kind. Who told me like, this is what we did, this is where we went, this is how deep we were. Like, there's no excuses. It's just how long can you keep your bobber in the water? That's it. So true. And it'll happen. Like, I'm not worried about it. If it's not this trip, it'll be the next one. Pyramid Lake is a place we make a trip to every single year. It's a place where you have a lot of patience for big rewards. first fish in the morning. Uh, I missed one other bobber down. So, it seems like the morning bite was slow, but Bradley caught one, I caught one. Looking for a bigger one. Bubbles! Nice, man. Yeah, I'm gonna put a lot of things in that, so just take that backpack.
<laughs> no way! Thank you. Nice job. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> nice. I hope you're cool with being filmed. Yes. Cool. Oh my gosh, that's your new your new biggest? Oh, for sure. Yeah. How big do you think it is? That's probably what? Four, 14, 15? Yeah, 15 yeah. pounder. You waited a while. Yeah, of course. I guess it was. I guess it was sixteen. Thirty-two by sixteen. Look at that. Woo! Nice job. Let's go. So obviously that was crazy. Bradley caught like a thirty thirty-one, just a stud. And then I don't even know her name, but she started fishing next to us, and she's been grinding. She fished like all day yesterday. Didn't catch much at all, and then. All of a sudden we look over and right as we uh, get Bradley's fish, she's hooked up on a double. So the day four, the last day has been an action packed morning compared to every other morning. We are very, very excited to keep a bobber in the water for the rest of the day. And we'll keep you posted on everything that continues to happen. So this is the last day and we're working hard, catching some studs. Nice work, you two. Nicely done. 